Hi, Kelly. Love you. Miss you. Happy St. Patty's Day. Wow. I hate you. I want my lamb back. Did you just say that in Unsolved Mysteries? Yes. I want it so much. My favorite answer that anyone's ever said. I have to ask about, um, obviously, Randy Watson and sexual chocolate. Was he inspired by anyone, or did that just come up out of your imagination? Not inspired by anybody. Just came up. The way those characters, all of those characters come together uh, by uh, Rick Baker, who designed those makeups. He's retired now, a genius makeup artist. And uh, he would put the makeups on me in a chair, and then he would start kind of talking to me, like, when it was about 80% done and asking me questions like, hey, where are you from? And what are you doing? And I tried different voices out till the, the right voice that looks right coming out of that makeup. And then we kind of, you kind of make him up in the chair. He comes, comes to life in the chair. I, it's such a, you're so gifted at it, like playing all those different roles in all the different movies I love seeing you in. It's, a, it's amazing and it's gotta be fun because at least you're not hired to do like one thing. It's not monotonous, your character, because you're playing so many things. It's gotta be so exciting. It's, it's, re, it's rewarding, but it's not fun at all because the oh. process, you haven't figured out how to make the process any short. You got six hours of putting those makeups on. That was, not a fun thing. That was actually my favorite answer that anyone's ever said. It was rewarding, but We're, like absolutely zero fun. <laughs> I heard the girl that played the 13-year-old you, uh, Krista Allen, is turning 30 this year, if that doesn't make us all feel old. Um, she did a few TikTok tributes. Uh, here's one I got to show you. You know what? You are rude and mean and sloppy and frizzy. I don't like you at all. <laughs> <laughs> I love that she did that. Have you seen those? She is un. Canny, yes, I've seen her. She played the young me in 13 Going on 30 and then again in Ghost of Girlfriends Past because yeah. I needed a young me again and said, I know the perfect young lady. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I'm, I've always been aware of her since then and we've kind of texted or DM'd back and forth. And whenever I see her, she's just like a prettier version of me at 30. Look at her, <laughs> it's crazy. How does she have that dress? I don't have that dress. Uh, that song was Walk Away Joe by Miss Trisha Yearwood and Don Henley. I love Trisha Yearwood, y'all. Seriously, one of my favorite singers on the planet. Let's meet Matthew, who requested that song. So where are you at, Matthew? It's Austin, Matthew Texas. McConaughey! Burr, 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 burr. How are you doing? Relatively pretty well. We're trying to get over this freeze down here, you know? It kind of knocked some of us back a hair. But well, overall, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, oh my God, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Why did you request Walk Away Joe? Well, Walk Away Joe, and it was, I think it was early 1992. I'm going to college here at the University of Texas. This is before Days Confused. And uh, I was trying to get odd jobs in front of the camera when I could, and I got cast in uh, that music video to play Joe. Things are going well, then where we end up the last stop, she wakes up and Joe, myself, is nowhere to be seen. Therefore, AKA the title, Walk Away Joe. <laughs> I love that though, don't you remember? I love that about country music videos, especially in like the 90s. There would be such a story, like a plot, like they'd have actors, yeah. like really big actors. In there. And I think that's amazing. I didn't know that was your first thing. I didn't know that was before Days and Confused. That's amazing. That and Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah, Walk Away Joe was my, my first time in front of the camera. <laughs> and I still don't believe I've met Trisha in person. Did you just say that in Unsolved Mysteries? Yes. I love it so much. That's amazing. What do you think of Jason's costume? He was playing flute for you on your way out. Uh, now, Jason is dressed as... Is that leprechaun? Oh, That's I see. And so Jason is Scottish? Hi. Yeah. He... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the people of Ireland uh, aren't offended at all. No, nope, uh, no. Nope. It's pretty good. The hat fits perfectly. Thank you. <laughs> uh, he reminds me of my, uh, my friend, uh, Ken Jong, who um, I have... I've helped him in his career. Uh, I, I also, he dressed up as a, a almost sim very similar outfit like a year ago. That's, there he is. Yeah, no, I actually am Irish. My people hail from Cork, Ireland. Really? Yes.
What? Uh, is this Cork Ireland calling? This is Cork Ireland. Oh, that's great. <laughs> it's not Cork Ireland calling. You'll be hearing from my lawyers, Joel. Not funny. That is my lamb. Bring my lamb back. Hi, Kelly. Love you. Miss you. Happy St. Patty's Day. Wow. I hate you. I want my lamb back. This, first of all, Ken, thanks for dressing up for this, whatever it is. Says the guy in a jersey. True. Go that Sonics. looks nothing like me. That looks nothing like me. How Ken, dare you? You know what? A lot of people, I'm always like, Ken Jong does not age. He's always looked 60. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to call my lawyer right now. I love you, Kelly. I what? Love Happy St. Patty's We're, Day. This is. I hate everything you stand for, Joe Goodbye. <laughs> we have a podcast. Where's that? Wow. <laughs> he just left. I think he just hangs out in our Skype room to just join the show when he wants. I did not know that was going to happen. I know. You recently had an eye patch. You had to wear an eye patch. Yes. I did too. I saw your... that. Yeah, yes. we were twinsies. Why did you? I kind of felt like I was an assassin. <laughs> okay. Like I look. Like I felt like I was a sexy assassin. Like with it on. Well, I probably I didn't like, look like that. I was like the masked pirate because I had the mask <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the eye patch. Yeah, I had eye surgery, so oh. I don't talk about this all the time actually. But I'm actually visually impaired. Oh. I, yeah, I, I can't see out of my right eye. So, um, and I had eye surgery to sort of just correct some issues, and you know, I had to wear the patch to. Uh, yeah, no, I had a LASIK done like right after I went idol. It was the first thing I like did for myself that like cost money, and yeah. I was t I was like almost blind, like I couldn't see at all. It's yeah, I'm, yeah. I was like the best candidate because I was so. <laughs> they were like, your eyesight is so bad, you're a perfect candidate. You're like, we need to do this. Yeah, too. but I yeah. had to wear like a Hannibal Lecter mask. I don't. I look crazy. They had like this thing because you couldn't touch your. Eyes in your sleep it was weird you can't yeah i just had to wear that for like a week it was a minimally invasive surgery i've had like surgeries that were much worse so thankfully yeah. i just had to wear that for like a week and then it was fine yeah okay well i'm glad you're good thank you um i thought you pulled off the pirate very well i mean yes. you know i, I try i try honey yeah. i try <laughs> Um, so you met your boyfriend on the office. I know him. So like, who, who made the first move? You, you know Chris? what? I invited him to my comedy act because I. But I invited every, all the guys in the crew. Like I wasn't. I know, right? Come on, right? Noel? Well, it was just like I don't know. And then he asked me out when he came to the show. So like literally. We are kind of Jim and Pam, like, because we work together. Yeah. And it took a while for, I mean, we didn't start dating until the end of season two. So. Oh, wow. So that's a lot of, like, yeah. getting to know each other. Yeah, I mean, he pressure. wasn't there every day, but he's yeah. hanging out in the fake men's room off the kitchen on the set of The Office. Do you guys know where that is, right? Anyway. No, so I, I love that you hung out with a guy that hung out in a fake men's room. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. My dad was a part. I have a great life. Did you? <laughs> it's interesting. What's been your, your favorite part of making movies so far? I imagine you are so fun to work with, by the way. I like to, I like to have fun for sure. I, I like, you know, for sure you gotta take work seriously, but I like to have fun while doing it. So for sure try and be, keep the jokes going and everything. But I would say like my favorite things about being in, working on movies and stuff so far is, I mean, two things come to mind is like the really, dope people you meet along the way that are like so different that you didn't think you would have crossed paths with before. Super rad meeting new people. And then secondly, like right out of the oven, fresh baked chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Somehow, I knew you were headed towards munchies. <laughs> Honestly, they're so good. They're so good. They're so, catering is so dank on movies, I swear. How about the first time we actually met? I, I hope you remember. I do. I, I literally, okay. they like, do you know, do you remember a meeting? I was like, absolutely. It was in a hallway. It was so random. We, I was, it was Clay Aiken and we just sat down in a hallway. Were you locked out? Someone was locked out or something happened. There was a reason why we were in the hallway. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, I had forgotten that morning. We were doing Celebrity Apprentice. It was down to me and Clay Aiken. And I had forgotten that morning to put the little card on the door so the housekeeper would know to come in. So I get home and my room is a wreck the way I left it at 7 a.m. So I told Clay, I, I'm just gonna sit here while she does my room. <laughs> and God works in mysterious ways. The elevator door opens, Clay Aiken and I are sitting on the floor of Trump Tower, 
and you walk out of the elevator and you were clean as the board of health. I don't know who dressed you that day, but it was nuts. And I say that only to say, you did something that made me love you forever. What? You put your purse down and you sat on the floor with us. Yeah. And we, we talked for like an hour and a half and that was the best way to meet one of my favorite singers who actually reminds me a lot of Aretha. You better stop it right now, sir. I will cry. <laughs> I'm emotional this week. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever. <laughs>